everybody, it's uh, James Akers here, the tie guy. Uh, today we're going to be tying a uh, brand new tie that I just got in a couple weeks ago. Haven't had a chance to wear it yet. But what I'm most excited about is um, I got some new suits in, and if, you're any, if you know anything about me, I get giddy when I get new suits or ties. So um, today we're going to be uh, putting on a brand new Zinnia navy blue suit. It uh, has a nice, uh, like a plaid texture inside when you get close to it. But uh, we're going with kind of a traditional look today. It's going to be a uh, navy blue suit white shirt and a blue traditional striped tie. Today the tie that we're going to be tying is by Isaia. Uh, if you don't know anything about Isaia, they're a very high quality uh, Italian brand out of Naples. Um, their logo is a little, um, I don't know if you can see this on the camera or not, this, I just pulled this off the tie. It's a little um, uh, red coral. So if you ever see um, a little red coral design, that's uh, going to be Isaia. Um, and this is the Isaia seven fold tie. So this is being hand folded and ironed uh, seven times. It's one piece of silk that a, uh, a Nepalese tailor, um, you know, folds seven times, irons every time. I've seen a video of it. It's pretty impressive how they do it. Um, and as far as review goes, um, I've never had a bad Isaia product. I've got uh, quite a few of their shirts, uh, a couple of sweaters, and a lot of their ties, of course, because I'm the tie guy, right? <coughs> Excuse me. But um, they make a very, uh, very solid tie. You can tell they're handmade and hand folded because the seams and everything, uh, I don't know if you can quite see it there. If this was factory done, this would all be absolutely perfect. But that kind of gives the tie some character. There's a little bit of, just a tiny little gap there, the way they fold it. But it just gives it character. This is one of the thinner Isaia ties. I've got some that are really thick, and then they make some that are thin. Just a very nice, you can just tell it's luxury silk. Very, very well made. So we're going to tie it up, see what it looks like. But today we're going traditional. Uh, as far as picking clothes out, I went with a white shirt because this tie against a white shirt, navy blue, uh, will will look great. Uh, I thought about you know going with like a yellow shirt. Uh, you could even go pink with this. You go light blue with this. Um, there's a lot of different colors you could go with to make this work. But I decided to go white, and here's why. Uh, piece of advice I'm going to give to all you guys out there: if you could only afford to get one suit. Uh, you know, that's what you can afford to, to look nice for your job or for an interview, special occasion. The two colors you want to look at are either navy blue or charcoal gray. Uh, last video I did was a, this was actually a new suit as well, charcoal gray. And then um, when I'm up to these, I'll be wearing a li little bit lighter blue suit. But navy blue or charcoal gray go with almost anything. So if you get a white dress shirt and a navy blue suit, you can wear a blue tie, you can wear red tie, you can wear... Uh, multicolor tie, brown tie, I mean yellow tie, purple tie, you can go almost any color with navy blue on white. So that's some advice for you. Though. Same with charcoal gray. Charcoal gray with a white shirt, you can wear almost any color at all. Uh, it's amazing how the charcoal gray and navy blue will pull just about every any color in. So today I'm going traditional. Striped tie. Uh, it's idea, so it's a really nice striped tie, but still, yeah, I want to go with a more traditional look. So we're going to go white shirt, blue striped tie, navy blue suit. So, as usual, we put the top behind our neck. We're going to find our spot, as I call it. Now, with this being a not a really thick tie, but it's also not as thin as like a Ferragamo. So, I'm going to need to be probably, I'm guessing, somewhere in this range here. Uh, you know, Ferragamo would be down this way a little bit, but we're going to try it right about here and see what that looks like. May have had to tie it a couple times. We'll see. I do tie a double Windsor, so I need a little bit more space there. So we pull the tie together. We come over the top with the long part. We go in behind and through. Then we're keeping everything flat. If you've watched my videos, you know I keep the knot tight as I go. Keep it flat. Behind the tie, come around behind, keeping everything flat. Up, over, through the back, and through. Now we have what we call the checkpoint. This is where we're going to look and just make sure we get a nice triangle, which you can see we are here. Now we come back out and around the front, keeping it flat, behind and up and through. Now we create a little pocket right here, and we're going to take the tie back through that pocket. And we're going to hold the top of the knot and pull through, and now we're going to hold the knot and pull on the longer part of the tie to tighten the knot up. Now we've got a perfect triangle knot. We're going to hold the knot, pull the back, or the, small, the shorter part of the tie, and we're going to see what this looks like here. Let me put my collar down. Now, if you watch my videos, you know I don't have a mirror here in front of me, so I'm using this little teeny tiny LCD screen to, to watch what I'm doing. Um, I, mean, I could tie a tie blindfolded, but getting it not perfect, I like to see a mirror. So next thing we want to do is we want to look and see if we've got, um, obviously the tie looks good, but we want to see the length of it. We want the bottom of the tie, this bottom of the tie, let me grab a belt here, okay? 
So a perfect tie, when it's perfectly tied, it's going to come somewhere between right here and right here. We want it between the top and the bottom of the belt buckle. If it's up here on the belt, you know, assuming this is your waistline, if it's up here, then either your, your belt is sagging or the tie is too short. You don't want a gap there. If it's down here, your, your tie is just too long or it's possible your pants are up too high. So the perfect situation is going to be somewhere between here and here. That's the absolute perfect. Even the very bottom of it's fine or even if overhangs just like a quarter inch or so, it's fine. So now I've got this tied and I can feel this is about halfway down the belt buckle. You know, this would be too short, this would be too long, so that should be perfect right there. Let's see what this knot looks like. Looks good to me in the LCD screen. Now let's put the jacket on and see what this looks like. Again, going traditional look today, navy blue suit, regular white shirt, blue striped tie, and I love the look. Uh, as far as this look here, if you scroll across the bottom of the screen, um, the suit is by Armando Gilozinha. The shirt is uh, Brooks Brothers Milano fit because that fits my body a little bit better than another fit. The tie is Isaiah, wearing a Ferragamo belt and also a Ferragamo brown uh, dress shoes. <coughs> um, they just, they look good. I like brown shoes with a uh, blue suit, just my personal preference. I prefer black shoes with a charcoal suit. Um, some guys like brown with charcoal, nothing wrong with that. Uh, it actually does a nice pop, but uh, I just personally, I'm a little bit traditional there. So here we go, navy blue suit, white shirt, blue striped tie, and now I'm ready for work.